with Guelph's Robert Wickens. Robert, a 12-year-old kid wanting to race an Indy car to 15 years plus later, finally getting to do it and winning pole. How do you feel right now? It makes me feel old, <laughs> 15 years. Uh, no, I mean, honestly, I don't, I'm speechless. I mean, the fact that first quality, I just wanted, I just would have been happy to be into the top 10 and then I was there and um, we got to the fast six and once we got to the fast six I was just doing, having a, having fun you know anything in that was already going to be a success for me and we uh, we timed it right we had the good tire strategy and then we were able to put a lap in right at the end to, to grab the pole which uh, I, I don't know what the gap was to anyone else but I can assure you it was probably probably pretty close. I was going to say you left it pretty late take us through that final lap there. Yeah the, the, the team let me know that it was going to be my last lap um, which is always a nerve-wracking thing for a driver because you're just on your tippy toes all the way through, just you know, especially in those conditions where you don't know if you should give it 10 tenths and, and try go for the pole, or if you should just try put in a, a steady lap. And um, luckily, from the lap before, I felt pretty good, and I knew where I made mistakes and where to improve. And I think uh, the rain let up a little bit towards the end, and but the track was just getting quicker and quicker, but like three, four seconds per lap, so it was uh, it was pretty chaotic at the end. We heard a lot of chants of Canada, Canada in the background. We talked about what a successful season from guys like you and James and Zach could mean to the legacy. Are you thinking about anybody back home after doing something like this? My parents, you know, I'm, I'm sure they're at home watching it, super happy right now on their couch. I mean, unfortunately, they, they weren't here. They're not here this weekend, but uh, thanks, Mom and Dad.